Hey guys, Timothy here, aka FCFan21, bring you week 7 of the Burnt Tower Dwarf League. Again, with a post commentary um, game, uh, mainly because uh, I played the game yesterday and I was completely exhausted. I just couldn't be bothered doing a team builder and a, a live commentary. So um, today I feel a bit better, and so yeah. Um, this week I brought a max special defensive polytoad with max HP, max special defense, final eighth in special attack with a calm nature, uh, assault fast water absorb, earth power surf, ice beam, and focus blast mainly um, for things like uh, blood moon, Ursa Luna. Um, what else did he bring? He did not bring many special mons, so yeah, mainly for that one in this game. But um, yeah, couldn't I can um, it's hard out from the top of my head to uh, say what it was. Um, Dashban max defensive with leftovers, well big body, play rough, body press, wish, and yawn. Um, I believe Rainy had things like Cerulege, uh Rotom. Uh, heat, all that. So, this was my main answer for those mons. Um, with play rough, body press, um, could do a lot of damage. Play rough mainly for the comma O. And yeah, wish for wish support and yawn to put things to sleep or for switches. Um, choice packs, boom ball. Um, did I seriously di run it without a nature? My god, what an idiot. Well, with 184 um, speed, I was faster than his uh, fastest mon, so I didn't need a um, timid nature, so I would have gone with modest. But I, f I see I did not run modest, so yeah. Genius that I am. Um, choice pack, static, thunderbolt, leafstorm, giga drain, volt switch, kind of standard. Um, I did bring a special defensive Ting Lu um, with final four in defense and no uh, attack investment at all because I was not running any um, damaging moves besides ruination and that is set damage. So uh, beside that, whirlwind substitute stealth work, um, shrapnel again a. Physical defensive mon body press iron head rapid spin explosion. So um, mainly there to keep hazards of my side of the field. And last but not least, Genesis with the choice scarf, max speed, max special attack, scald, flash cannon, dazzling gleam, and trick. So I can trick my scarf onto something um, that does not want it, basically. So yeah, um, I'm going to put speed at low and. Yeah, let's start. So I started off with Hisuian Electrode because he has only the Ursaluna and I can one-shot Ursaluna, but um, he started off with Morgrim and fearing a trick, I went into um, Ting Lu and while he set it up screens, I set up my stealth works, <coughs> which turned out to be very handy because, um, yeah, I didn't know what he was going to do, so I just set it up a substitute. And here came some very important information. Um, his Ice Punch did not break substitute, and I just whirlwind his uh, Disclops out and brought in Morgrim. Um, Rainy did not like that matchup, so switched out into Scissor. But I did not see um, any reason to not click Whirlwind again, and... Yeah, Morgram just took another 12% there. <clears throat> so, um, he set a Blight Scream again. I used Whirlwind again. And this time Carbink came out. And I believe Carbink went for a Body Press. Yes. And that finally took out my sub. But I clicked Whirlwind again. And lo and behold, Dust Clubs came out. I know I was faster. I know he... Uh, last time went for Ice Punch, it would not uh, break up, but this time he went for Pain Split, but that failed because Substitute. So, um, 
I went for Runation, halving his HP. He went for an Ice Punch and finally uh, and did some damage to the sub. Um, next Ice Punch does break the sub, but I just went for another Whirlwind. And Dusclops was out and Morgrim came back in. And expecting uh, Rainy to set up screens again, which she did, I went for another substitute. And this is going to be a repeating story for most of the battle, <laughs> I can say. Um, Rainy keep trying to keep up her screens and me just ruination and mostly whirlwind stuff out. So um, my stealth rocks just kept uh, chipping away at her mons while Ting Lu sat there, took leftovers recovery. Um, this was a big play, I'm going to say. Um, Como. I brought uh, Como to one game and he completely failed me and yeah um, yeah that uh, Clangor Soul uh, thing did not really work for me and Rainy was trying it was trying it too uh, expecting me to switch because he's a fighting type but I went for Warwind and she's uh, she just threw away a third of Como's health for absolutely nothing. Morgan came out and I just set up substitute again. <laughs> so um, yeah that's been 15 turns with me putting up subs and just chipping away with uh, Stealth Rock at her months. Uh, Scissor came out again. I believe Scissor went for Trailblaze again to get rid of my sub. It was the second time, yes. Scissor so used Trailblaze and I just whirlwinded it out. And this time Carbine came out. I knew um, a body press was coming from a high defense mon, but I just want for, wanted to uh, half Carbine's HP, especially because I knew I had leftovers. But I also knew, um, yeah, I could live another body press. And now Lux and Gudra uh, were having a discussion about what Ting Lu actually was because it was in for so long. Um, Como went for Auras where I lived and yeah, knowing I was max special defensive, um, I could do a lot, uh, I could take a lot, so yeah. Um, those clubs come out and that meant um, I threw up another sub, Ice Punch could not break it and well, after the next Ice Punch from those clubs I had enough to set up another um, substitute. Lux was pointing out right now. Uh, Ting Lu will sit out until it runs out of PP. But Ursaluna came in, and this is where I thought, well, I can throw up another sub against it. I switched to my designated uh, Ursaluna switch, Polygoat, which they took just 25% from a Blood Moon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Surf was extremely free there, and Polygoat took out the Scissor. Well done, Polytoad even though <laughs> Ting Lu did most of the work there. Uh, Morgrun came in, uh, again fearing the trick, I went back into Ting Lu. <laughs> but again, Morgrun just wanted to set up screens, and with me being back at 33%, I just threw up another sub, and I had the opportunity to start chipping away at my opponent. That went for a Thunder Wave to... Uh, yeah, I did think he did not have anything left. I knew I was going for a whirlwind, so I think that's the main reason uh, she went for thunder wave. Body press was of course breaking sub, but um, I went for another whirlwind, taking Carbink out, and Dust Clubs came back in. Um, sorry if you hear my cat back uh, in the background; she's uh, mowing to get into the bathroom. Um, substitute again against Dust Clubs because I knew it was free, and um, yeah. Ting Lu was going to do what Ting Lu does best this game and just whirlwind it out. And again, Ursaluna came back in. And to point out, 30 turns have passed. I have had three different months in. Ting Lu was on his last legs, but he was there a few times before. Um, Polygoat had just lost 25%. And... Um, Electrode only sw switched out, so <laughs> um, yeah, Ting Lu was doing all 
the tricks, set up seven substitutes, uh, whirlwinded 19 times and ruinationed four times. Just, uh, yeah, in 30 turns. He was the absolute goat of this game. Um, of course, I switched out into my designated Ursulunas uh, switch in, which was Polygoat. Ursuluna was setting up uh, Calm Mind, but I um, did not really care about it. Blood Moon did 38% this time, but um, yeah, it was a winning battle for me, as you see, because another Surf did 38%, and he set up another sp another Calm Mind. And another surf did not take it out, but he went for Hyper Voice instead of Blood Moon. Uh, why, I do not know, but it gave me the opportunity to take it out. But um, Rainy switched it, so um, yeah. Polygoat took out the Dust Clubs instead of the Ursaluna, but I'm 6-4 um, up against it. And Komo'o came in, yeah, taking out the Polygoat. I could not do much again with it, so... Um, yeah, but I switched in Mew, I knew I would always outspeed Como, and Dazzling Gleam was always in KO. And from here Mew could basically sweep. Um, Morgrim tried to set up a light screen, but Mew just... Um, I don't think it really mattered, but he crit through it. <laughs> um, Carbon came in, but died to rocks. So that's gone as well, and in the end Ursaluna had to take on 5 other mons. Um, I Dazzling Gleamed, he lived, he went for a Blood Moon, I lived, and that meant Dazzling Gleam would pick up the KO, because 11% was uh, the last damage output. So yeah, I win 5-0, and I can show you the documents. And if you've never seen that part of this card, well, you're welcome. Oh wait, this is a, this is not the right document. There we go. This is the one I wanted. And I wanted to show you the standings right now. For week seven, I climbed back up to fifth place. And I'm taking on Next week, uh, Lux, coach of the Chirac Champaus, on 11th place. And Lux can't, um, even if he 6 0 me, he can't get past me on uh, differential. And I have to keep ooh, five other coaches that could go up to 4 and 4 below me to make playoffs um, but yeah if I win I still have a chance to climb up to second um, I know uh, Milk Chocolate's results um, he lost for week 8 with 4-0 I believe so he is a plus 10 at uh, plus 10 differential which means if I win with 2-0 because of uh, our game that I won I could climb uh, over Milk Chocolate and if King Bob and Country Boy both lose um, Country Boy to Melissa and ooh, did King Bob play against this final week uh, let's see Spanish Owls against oh yeah it's the Rockford Requesas number 8 so if Arminius and Melissa both win, I can climb to second place, which is pretty good. I mean, if you, from the th first four weeks, I lost three of them against the Corridons, against, who did I play week three? Uh, oh yeah against the San Francisco Evolutions and against the uh, Buzz Bobble's Horse. Yeah, I think getting second would be a great achievement. But first I need to win my own game before I can uh, be bothered with that. So, um, yeah. Um, 
I think my week 8 battle will go up on Sunday. So uh, stay tuned for that if you want to see it. And until then, up the Vivalons.